Today, I'm talking about the dynamics of CD8 T cells in mesenteric lymph nodes during acute and chronic SIV infection of rhesus macaque following early R initiation. We have nothing to disclose. CD8 T cells are important in the control of HIV replication since the anti-HIV specific response of CD8 T cells reduce the pool of HIV infected cells and the size of viral reservoir and also the depletion of CD8 T cells in untreated SIV infected macaque resulted in increasing viral load. The gut associated lymphoid tissue, GALT, is one of the main sites of SIV and HIV replication, CD48 depletion and viral persistence. In particular, the mesenteric lymph nodes, which drain the small and large intestine, are critical for the induction and maintenance of gut mucosal immunity. Unfortunately, the dynamic of CD8 T cells during HIV infection within this compartment is understudied because of the lack of accessibility of this tissue. To overcome this inconvenience is of a great help to use animal model of SIV infection like the Chinese rhesus macaque. The dynamic of SIV infection and CD4 T cell depletion in these animals are very similar to HIV infection in humans. In addition, nowadays, it's recommended by physicians to start art as soon as HIV infection is diagnosed, since it promotes benefits like CD4 T cell recovery, immune reconstitution, and decrease in the size of the viral reservoir. In this sense, we already reported a differential dynamic of T-Rex and TI-17 cells in mesenteric lymph nodes compared to blood after early R initiation during acute SIV infection in rhesus macaque. For that reason, we decide to evaluate the impact of early R initiation and R interruption on the dynamics of regulatory and effector CD8 T cells within the mesenteric lymph node of infected Chinese rhesus macaque. A total of 32 female Chinese rhesus macaque were included in our study. To evaluate the effect of very early R initiation, a group of animals was treated four days after the infection with a cocktail of five antiretrovirals, including inhibitor of ribetranquiptase, protease, and integrase. Of note, the early time point of R initiation of four days have been previously shown in rhesus macaque to suppress viral load, while SIV DNA has already been seeded within their mesenteric lymph node. To avoid the effect of R interruption in a group of r treated animals, we stopped the treatment eight weeks after the initiation of the therapy. In addition, a group of SIV infected animals without treatment in both acute and chronic stages of the disease was assessed to evaluate the normal evolution of the disease. A dedicated time point sample from blood and mesenteric lymph node were collected and later analyzed by multi-parameter flow cytometer. We first evaluate the effect of very early R initiation on CDA immune activation, and for that we evaluate the expression of the classical activation marker HLIDR and the expression of an alternative marker of activation, the ectonucleotidase CD39. As expected, untreated SIB infection resulted in increased level of immune activation assessed by both HLIDR and CD39 in both mesenteric lymph nodes and blood, and early R initiation decreased considerably this level in both compartments. CD4 CD8 ratio is widely used by clinicians as a clinical marker of disease progression during HIV infection. Here we observe a decrease in the CD4 CD8 ratio in both blood and mesenteric lymph nodes of untreated animals that was restored after early R initiation. Of note, R interruption didn't affect the CD4 CD8 ratio. The CD8 receptor is expressed in two forms, either alpha alpha homodimer or alpha beta heterodimer. Differences in sensitivity to antigen, efficiency of activation, as well as the stage of differentiation have been reported for each isoform. Similar to a previous report on interpretelia CD8 T cells in the small intestine, in which an increased frequency of CD8 alpha beta was reported during SIV infection, here, in mesenteric lymph node, we also observe higher frequency of CD8 alpha beta population in untreated animals. Furthermore, early R initiation did not affect the frequency of CD8 alpha beta in both blood and mesenteric lymph nodes. Importantly, this isoform is more susceptible to the inhibitory action of T-Rex, and increase in the T-Rex frequency within the mesenteric lymph node was already reported by us. Curiously, early R initiation decreased the frequency of CD8 alpha alpha in mesenteric lymph node, while higher frequency of the population were found in blood. Altogether, our results suggest different dynamic property and function of these isoforms in each compartment. Next, we evaluate the expression of immune checkpoints PD-1 and CTLA-4 since their expression have been linked to T-cell dysfunction and senescence during HIV infection. 
Here we found that SIV infection increased the expression of PD-1 and CTLA-4 in both blood and mesenteric lymph nodes and that early R initiation decreased their level in both compartments. We then analyzed the expression of CCR6 and CXCR3 to evaluate the trafficking of CD8 T cells. CCR6 is a marker of cell migration to the gut and inflammatory sites. It has been suggested that anti-HIV specific CD8 T cells expressing CCR6 could co-localize with CD4 T cells in the gut and contribute to the control of the HIV infection. Besides, CXCR3 is needed for the migration to secondary lymphoid tissues, gut and inflamed sites at their frequencies decrease in chronic HIV-infected individuals. Here we saw a decrease in CCR6 expressing CD8 T cells in mesenteric lymph node following HIV infection and earlier initiation was unable to restore their frequency. This suggests a potential compromised migration of these cells to inflammatory sites and the gut to control HIV infection. We also found no changes in the frequency of CXCR3 positive CD8 T cells in both blood and mesenteric lymph node during acute infection, while chronic infection was associated with a massive decline of their frequencies in both compartments. Regulatory T cells are immunosuppressive cells that play an important role during both SIV and HIV infections via the inhibition of antiviral specific responses. CD8 T Rex are under study in the context of SIV and HIV infections compared to CD4 T Rex. One study has reported an expansion of CD8 T-Rex with suppressive capacity over effector T-cells in the colorectal mucosal tissue of HIV-infected monkeys. Here, we observe a decrease in the frequency of these cells after early R initiation only in the blood of infected monkeys, while we observe no differences in the frequency after treatment within the mesenteric lymph node, indicating an accumulation of these immunosuppressive cells in this compartment despite R. This direct accumulation could directly impact in immune function and viral persistence within the mesenteric lymph node. To evaluate the origin of CD8 T-Rex and to explain the differences in CD8 T-Rex dynamic between blood and mesenteric lymph node, we assess the expression of Helios as a specific marker of thymic T-Rex. SIV infection increased thymic output of CD8 T-Rex, which was normalized by early R initiation in both blood and mesenteric lymph node. Altogether, these results suggest that CD8 T-Rex accumulation within the mesenteric lymph node is due to their local differentiation. We finally evaluate the effect of early R initiation on two immunosuppressive subpopulations of CD8 T-Rex, CD39 positive and CTLA4 positive CD8 T-Rex. CD39, in coordination with CD73, converts the inflammatory ATP into anti-inflammatory adenosine. And the expression of CD39 by CD8 T-Rex has been linked to disease progression. Furthermore, CTLA4 restricts the activation of effector T cells. Here we observe an increase in both CD39 positive and CTLA4 positive CD8 T-Rex frequency during acute SIV infection, which were normalized at early R initiation in both mesenteric lymph node and blood. We then compare available match blood and mesenteric lymph node specimen of early R-treated animals. Here, we observe systematically higher frequency of both population in mesenteric lymph node compared to blood. This suggests differential dynamics of this population in mesenteric lymph node versus blood that could potentially contribute to increased immunosuppressive function of these cells within the mesenteric lymph node. We can conclude that acute SIV infection results in increased level of immune activation, immune checkpoint expression, and timing output of CD8 T-Rex. And conversely, decreased CCR6 positive CD8 T cells in both mesenteric lymph node and blood, which were all restored after early R initiation. Early R initiation impacts differently the distribution of CD8 alpha alpha and CD8 alpha beta in blood based on mesenteric lymph node. In contrast to blood, early R initiation was unable to decrease total CD8 T Rex frequency in mesenteric lymph node. Acute SIB infection increased frequency of immunosuppressive CD39 positive and CTLA4 positive CD8 T-Rex in both mesenteric lymph node and blood, which were normalized by R. However, their frequencies remain significantly higher in mesenteric lymph node compared to blood. R interruption was associated with increase in HLIDR positive CD8 T cells and decrease in CCR6 positive CD8 T cells within the mesenteric lymph node. I would like to thank to all of the members of my lab at UCAN, especially to Dr. Omar Farnos that initiated this project, to the members of Dr. Estegel Lab at Université Laval, mainly Gina Racine, to the funding institution for funding both my project and the PhD scholarship, also to all of you for your attention.